Everybody, this is Beetle Five coming at you with a lot of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here, Hello, everyone. and today we will be watching the death battle between Shredder and the Silver Samurai. Now, again, having never seen Ninja Turtles as a kid, yeah. I don't know nothing about Shredder. Ginger does. Ginger knows Shredder, yeah, but, I, so, yeah, I but I know a bit about the, the Silver Samurai because I watched X Men growing up. So I, I gotta say, he's a uh, He's mutant, obviously. Has a mutation that allows him to make his sword extremely hard, so that it generally cuts almost anything. And Shredder is just a very skilled ninja, right? Is that yeah, really all he yeah. is? Yeah, he's like a little like metal ninja that he's very skillful. All right. So, so. at this moment, just because of Silver Samurai's mutation, I'm gonna have to yeah. put my vote to Silver Samurai, unless yeah. Shredder has some other kind of powers or something. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see then. We'll start this video then. Oh, hold on. Okay then, so we're gonna start the death battle in 3, 2, 1, go. Hundreds of years ago, the samurai and the ninja battled across Japan. And these two fascinating ways of combat Ooh, have ninja been at odds ever since. The Shredder, the sharp and shiny arch villain of the Ninja Turtles. And Silver Samurai, the mutant swordsman who can slice through anything. He's weird and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze Damn, their weapons, good. armor, and skills to find out who would that's win. Mom's cap. Oh, no, that's um, that was, that was actually one of the X Men fighting games. Beneath the streets of New York City, a secret battle wages between four humanoid turtles and a ninja covered in blades known as the Shredder. A kitchen utensil. Many legends surround the, the Shredder's pencil. origins. Some say he's the reincarnation of an ancient Japanese warrior. Some say he's an alien disguised as a man. Oh, and some seriously? say he's a bumbling idiot who sounds like Uncle Phil. What? I don't wanna conquer this place. I wanna conquer hers. What the Neither fuck? Way, every legend agrees that on is one so thing. weird. He's an absolute badass. Before he was called the Shredder, he was a Rokusaki. A member of the Japanese Ninjutsu Foot Clan, he trained alongside his rival Hamato Yoshi. They weren't just rivals in martial arts, but in the search for love as well. They both pined for the lovely lady Tang Shen, but unfortunately for our future Shredder, she only had eyes for Yoshi. Hamato Yoshi, not the dinosaur. That <laughs> <laughs> Jealous, Orokusaki attacked Yoshi, but in his rage, accidentally struck down Tang Shen. Oh shit! Oh god! Leaving Yoshi and his beloved for dead, Saki took over the Foot Clan and began a worldwide crime spree under his new name. Now you face the Shredder. A live action? Did you yeah. a movie like an earlier one? That's not the newer one. Did he mean to name himself after a cheese grater? <laughs> Speaking of which, if his armor didn't make it obvious enough, Shredder's got a weird spike fetish. <laughs> this guy's got him all over his legs, arms, shoulders, even his head. That headpiece, the Kuro Kabuto, is a relic passed down through the Foot Clan for over 1,500 years. Forged from the totems of the clan's defeated enemies, it was formed into an alloy that's stronger than steel. Plus, oh. it just looks wow. awesome. Obviously, his armor is also a kick-ass weapon, and he can cut anyone down with the Teko Kagi claws on his wrist. Laser which sword? literally oh. translates to back-of-the-hand hooks. Perfect for backhanding. It doesn't cover all that much, but he needs freedom of movement. Teleportation because, you know, and lightning. He's a ninja. Damn. Plus, would you want to get anywhere near a guy covered in razors? Yeah, I don't think so. Ninjutsu is comprised of 18 separate disciplines, and Shredder is a master of all of them. This Holy includes stealth, shit. espionage, pyrotechnics, horsemanship, and plenty of weaponry. Yeah, Ugh. like swords, spears, bow stabs, and throwing weapons. But it's not like he needs them anyway. He's skilled in unarmed combat, too. Now a master of his craft, the Shredder led the Foot Clan to New York City. Where he found out Hamato Yoshi wasn't quite as dead as he thought. As a matter of fact, Yoshi had transformed into a rat person. And Whoa, are you serious? So, he, so he's the, the teacher of the turtles? But yeah. that's no oh, that's so cool. With his hatred reinvigorated, the Shredder swore to end his lifelong enemy once again. Splinter's day, right? Yeah. Every time yeah. Shredder fought these ninja turtles, he proved why he's the leader of the Foot Clan. I mean, he's strong enough to tear through steel shipping containers oh, with his claws, God. chop down trees in one sword swing, and throw around one touch lava. 
like they're nothing. One such mutant, Leatherhead, weighs well over 300 pounds. Whoa. All right, I know that's the official weight according to some toy, but look at him. Compared to the turtles, he should weigh half a ton. Either way, the Shredder survived Leatherhead chomping down on his midsection. The femur, the strongest bone in the human body, breaks at a pressure of about 1,700 pounds per square inch. A normal, unmutated American alligator can bite with a force I gotta say, those things can fucking crush PSI. bones, yeah. And Leatherhead's bite is surely stronger. Meaning Shredder should have split in half, but nope, he was back up kicking some leather butt literally five seconds later. Wow. The Shredder is a cunning strategist and talented warrior. He's fought eight mutants in combat all at once, disarming every single one of them. What's more, while intimidating an Italian mob boss and his bodyguards, he did this. <laughs> the most <laughs> <of> human eyes <laughs> are capable of detecting movements occurring in one two hundredth of shit. a second. Meaning Shredder's Slash could have been even faster than that. But oh my sometimes God. Shreds needs just a bit more juice to get the job done. Oh, Literally, God. He does when drugs? you see him crack open a green one, he's not doing it to hang out with the boys. In times uh, of desperation, Shredder is known to resort to risking it all by consuming mutagen. Transforming him into Super Shredder. He must have drank all of it. It's a Super Shredder. <laughs> oh my God! I, this, this movie looks painful. Him different enhancements in different iterations. It usually grants him immense strength, inhuman durability, and even teleportation and the power to shoot lightning. Oh, you know, that's probably crap. because mutagen's not an exact science, and it's bound to get random at times. That's true, Boomstick. I did a science. Good job. I did a science. <laughs> well, he stuffed out a sword shattering against his skin and even falling around a thousand feet onto a steel beam. Oh, Man, you'd crap. think this guy would never lose anything, ever. Uh, huh. But you'd also be super wrong. Shredder has his fair share of downsides. This includes a weakness to garbage trucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Newborn infants. <Yeah>. What? Babies! <laughs> The power of music. <laughs> what? A strange fascination with eating his enemies. Tonight, what? Dine on turtle soup. And wood. What? Jeez, were the 90s always this stupid? Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, despite I'm his failures, very glad I did not watch the show as a kid. Faster, this looks stronger, painful. and much more terrifying. Oh my god, that looks so fucking stupid. The true battle. Start now! Oh my god. Alright, look at lie, he's pretty <laughs> fucking tough. Feudal Japan, so, a yeah, samurai see what's wasn't samurai's your guy. typical bodyguard. He was trained in the art of war, and would only serve the elite upper class. Honor was the samurai's currency. But for the silver samurai, Kenoichi Harada, currency was just regular money, cause that shit's useful. Born into the Yashida clan, Harada was the son of a powerful Yakuza the crime. Rival to Unfortunately, he could never inherit his father's empire for That's himself, cool. because he was born illegitimately. A bastard. Wow, wait, no need to throw insults around, Wiz. No, the literal <laughs> definition oh, yeah, of he was that. In a movie. Move on. Wiz's judgment aside, which movie was he? He was in the movie. movie. Oh, that was the one movie I well, never saw. Become a samurai. What, that was the one extra movie I've ever seen. They're pretty cool, right? Cool. Unfortunately, the way of the samurai no longer had a place in the present. Harada knew that in a world full of absurd superpowers, oh, he would need to dedicate his life to the art in a way never seen before. He wouldn't just be a samurai, he'd be a silver samurai. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> blinged out like exhibits rims, he picked up on a like fighting style. Rims. Not too many. Just Bajutsu, the art of horseback, Bujutsu, military strategy, Eijutsu, the sword-based quick draw, Tanto Jutsu, knife fighting, Ninjutsu, being sneaky, Kyujutsu, which is archery, and well, Jujutsu and karate <laughs> do, which are both <laughs> forms of unarmed combat. I guess say he generally knows every form. He knows every form of martial arts just like Shredder does. So. Yeah. Many. At least one more, Kenjutsu, the art of Japanese sword fighting. Yeah, that's gonna After be a good. All, what's a samurai fight. without a katana at his side? Dead. That's what. In Dead. order to keep living, he had to get really good with swinging that sword. Luckily for Harada, he soon learned he had one of those absurd superpowers for himself. Yep, he's a mutant. Now who's being insensitive? Harada <laughs> has the ability to generate a tachyon field. With it, he can enhance his sword, allowing it to slice through almost anything. 
even ghosts! <laughs> in real life, tachyonic fields are hypothetical particles with mass, which travel faster than light, a definition which may explain how Harada's cutting ability works. So he uses his power on sharp objects. Well, that's too bad for everybody in Silver Samurai's way, because he carries a lot of them. He's got throwing knives and shuriken ninja stars on hand for long-range attacks. And of course, he always carries that katana. He's wielded many different swords, including the legendary Muramasa blade. However, oh, yeah, Wolverine had that about sword. What kind of sword he carries. With his power, any blade Harada carries instantly becomes one of the most dangerous swords on the planet. Harada wow. has one more trick up his sleeve, a teleportation ring. With it, he can warp around the battlefield for unexpected strikes, and it makes for a good getaway. Though he almost lost it once to John Belushi. You know, the guy from Saturday Night Live? Jocelyn told me about it once. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. <laughs> After years of hard work, Harada was truly a masterful warrior. However, he still struggled to defeat one opponent. The Wolverine. Huh. Who killed his dad and got engaged to his sister. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, the shame combo. Oh my but god. Man, she was next in line to rule the Yashida clan. Man, a triple. Needless wow. to say, a little myth. Harada challenged his own sister for the right to run the clan. And he won. After she was poisoned by an unrelated third party. Sometimes life just okay. works out with... I guess a win's a win. And that wouldn't be his last one. He's incredibly deadly in battle. He's so fast he deflects overpowered with his sword, the daredevil and once even sliced a speeding uh, bullet completely in half. In this instance, the gunman was, was, he was with the Avengers at one point when he fired the bullet at approximately 1400 feet per second. This means that Silver Samurai was able to reach for his sword and accurately cleave the bullet in two in just over 100th of a second. Holy shit. Even if he shit. didn't jump it in half, his armor is totally bulletproof. Shoot, it even let him survive a friggin' building falling on top of him. But without his armor, he survived taking a sword straight through the lung and getting run over by a car from the, the Jetsons. <laughs> is no slouch what? on the battlefield either. He's knocked He's Spider Man Spider -Man. unconscious, shaken off hits from Cannonball, and even defeated Spider Woman in combat. Whoa. At one point, he was dogpiled by Daredevil, She Devil, along with a cheetah and a panther, together likely weighing over 600 pounds in total. And he threw them all off in one big push. <laughs> and he's always fighting with his number one rival, Wolverine. Speaking of which, while some may boast that Harada is the greatest swordsman in the world, Wolverine's frequently proven to be his better. Yeah, he may be good with his blade, but his battle strategy isn't quite as sharp. Also, his bulletproof armor doesn't cover everything, as seen here. Well, even that uh, was merciful compared to what happened when he went up against the four black samurai. Although Harada defeated them all against impossible odds, he ultimately succumbed to his wounds. And when he arrived in hell, Harada met the devil, who promptly <laughs> killed him again by cutting Whoa. off his head and smashing his corpse into mush with a soul-destroying sword the size of a school bus. Oh my Damn. god! Never let it be said I'm gonna say Wolverine has seen Satan before. Hardcore. Oh, the Wolverine beat Last Satan. chance, Harada. Yield! The Silver Samurai yields to no man! Alright, the combatants are well, set. Let's end this debate I'm once and for all. I'm gonna but say, first, let's, all this talk of let's put this into discussion, because, like, they both know every form generally of martial arts and ninja slash samurai oh, skills. Yeah. They definitely know all jutsus. They both wear very heavy set defensive armor. And they're both frequently skilled in their swordplay, but the one thing I feel- And they're both equally flawed in the face that Shredder oh, yeah. loses constantly to the Turtles, and S Silver has constantly lost to Wolverine, so they have their same weaknesses of sorts. The one thing I just think w that will give Silver the, the edge here is just because his mutation makes any blade he wields yep. the hardest substance ever, which I think he could cut through Shredder's armor. Yep. I mean, I, I mean, obviously he can't cut through like Wolverine's adamantium because that's probably yeah, uh, that yeah. he would have won. So instead, almost any. So adamantium is probably the limit. But it said on there that Shredder's helmet, maybe just his helmet, not his whole rest of his armor, yeah. was stronger than titanium. Yeah. And generally, titanium is titanium is the strongest real metal alloy. Yeah. But all in all, I'm gonna have to place my vote on the Silver Samurai. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. So. Definitely, I think he'll win this fight. So, a blue apron's done. They're done. Let's a do this shit. Battle!
They're gonna pull in this marvelous Capcom model, which will be nice. Oh. Damn. Just fucking up, fucking up trees here. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the foot clan. Oh, okay. They're like Shredder's minions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, damn. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you are no match for the Shredder. Oh, this is older one. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh ho! Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> he is hunting him down! Whoa, show you kids! Oh, right, he can teleport too. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. It's really close. That. Neither one of them have oh, taken yeah. many hits yet. Holy shit! Look at this! Oh, oh! Oh! Wait, he's got the mutagen yet? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say, I think he can still overpower mutagen shredder. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, lightning. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he caught lightning! Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh! 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 And Shredder would go far if he took up darts. Both oh Shredder and Silver God. Samurai are incredibly tough, capable of withstanding tremendous amounts of pain. Holy Harada's God. armor may have been tougher, but it had plenty of exposed weak points which a fighter as precise as Shredder could exploit. Uh. Silver Samurai could throw around 600 pounds of people and cats, which is technically stronger than anything Shredder's done. But Shredhead's handled That's equally thought, mighty yeah. mutants plenty of times, like Leatherhead. While the Silver Samurai's teleportation ring did make him harder to track, he's always preferred to use it as a means of escaping a battle, not really engaging in one. Even when oh, he I did use it during shit. combat, his moves were often predicted by more experienced opponents. This guy likes to come at me from behind. Oh, come Just trying out one of your tricks, Tin Man. That's Given funny. Shredder's talents in history, it's reasonable to believe he could do the same. Still, with Harada's Tachyon Blade and Shredder's Ninja Precision, they only needed to land one fatal hit to finish the fight. So the real question was, who could land the killing blow first? Silver Samurai's best speed feat, slicing an incoming bullet, clocked in at one hundredth of a second. Say, what is Shredder Shredder's faster? faster than eyesight oh, feat, bad. measured at yeah. four oh. thousandths, oh, yeah. making uh, him over two yeah, times faster totally than Harada. About that. To be blunt, Shredder's fastest known attack was quicker than Harada's fastest known defense. Oh, that Shredder could deal a killing shit. first. Okay, well, yeah. Like, you know, he could just turn into Super Shredder and beat the shit out of him. I mean, yeah. Super Shredder can lift and throw a giant oil tanker like it's a beach ball at a rave. That's probably heavier than 600 pounds of people and cats. Looks like Shredder was too much for Silver to take he on. The oh, winner God. Is the Shredder. Oh, my God. Wow. Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next Shredder's a lot more stronger than I thought he was. Yeah. I didn't think there, it was nearly that powerful. Oh, wait, what is this shit? Oh. Piccolo! Wait, wait. Oh no, Chris. Oh no, Chris Sabin! Not even you can prevent this. I have no idea who either of those are. <laughs> Me too. I. 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 I 
I do like Chris Abbott. He does oh, good yeah. anime voices, but oh, yeah. I have no clue who Smokey and McGruff are. <laughs> I, 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 can, that's, that's, I feel like a true asshole right now. Yeah, me too. Well, I, hang on. Let me. I gotta search this shit real quick. Let me look up who they are real fast. Okay, apparently they're talking about Smokey the Bear versus McGruff, which I guess is some other dog? I didn't think they actually meant fucking <gasps> Smokey the Bear. It's a prime dog. Oh my God. It, he's a what? He's a crime dog. He's a crime dog. Okay. Wow, that's gonna be weird. I I I don't fucking know. Okay, well, yes, there's that. So, anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of those that's reacting in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later.